My name is Leslie Sloan. I am a Curriculum Support Officer uh, with a specialism for developing our Foundation Apprenticeship Programme within the Central Education Team in Dumfries and Galloway. The Foundation Apprenticeship is a, a key part of the Apprenticeship family and Skills Development Scotland have really thought this out well and I congratulate them on that because it is a really pivotal part of the whole programme. Uh, so you have the Foundation Apprenticeship which is a school-based qualification, uh, then you have a Modern Apprenticeship which is a qualification that you take into the workplace uh, and can be studied with an employer, equally with an employer. And the Graduate Apprenticeship is just a, a step further on from uh, the Modern Apprenticeship and that involves a higher level of study, usually with a university uh, and a substantial work placement uh, to, to support that learning. So foundation apprenticeships are the start of the, the, the rung of the ladder uh, towards that um, kind of final award of getting a degree, if that's what you're really looking for. My name is Sarah Dorimple. I am the director of SD Consultancy, which is an SQA approved training centre based in the Scottish borders offering qualifications across the whole of Scotland. My role in this uh, programme is working with Leslie and the schools to uh, develop and take the project forward, which is a foundation apprenticeship in digital and creative studies. So we work with Leslie and the students in assessing the work that they're doing. We have an e-portfolio system called Skills Forward, which um, enables them to upload information from their side down here in Dumfries and Galloway, and we have a look at it on our side. So for the remote delivery, that is really a positive step forward. Uh, the students know what they need to do, and they upload it through the course uh, to, on, to the e-portfolio, which we then look at on our side. So I am the assessor for this, this qualification. I will be looking at the coursework that the students produce. I've also worked very closely with Leslie in producing the resources to provide the students with the remote experience that they really need. Our company is also offering the internal verification, which is the checking of the quality of the delivery and making sure that it meets SQA's requirements. Well, originally I wasn't really sure what subjects to take in S5, so I, uh, after a bit of research and that I realised that I could take the apprenticeship. I thought it was uh, something that I'd be quite keen to do, as it's uh, creative. It's, I, I'm quite a creative person, you know, I'm into graphic design, things like that, so I thought I'd take, you know, take the chance, see what it's like. I'm enjoying it so far, so uh, it's really quite good, yeah. The, the transferable skills I'm learning are uh, communication, that's a, quite a big part in it. So I need to communicate not only through speaking, I need to communicate through writing and text on the computer. Because of Covid, we've had to do everything on the computer instead of written, because we've had to do it either online on Teams, FaceTimes, or we'd have to do it in class here, social distancing. So yeah, communication mainly. Um, my name's Carol Donnelly um, and I'm a teacher here at The Bridge and also at Dalbiti on the MPAs, which is the National Progression Awards, which is the classroom part of what we do as part of the Foundation Apprenticeship Creative and Digital Media. I'd say it plays a big role in helping me get into the college course that I need. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm kind of sticking with my little friend group so far, so I haven't mingled with any other people, but... Apart from that, the subject's fun, it's, it's a lot of research, but then you, it's, it's fascinating how much you learn about the industry. Having come into this course, um, I, my background was in graphic design. Um, I was a designer for a number of years before I came into lecturing, before I came into teaching, so I've had quite a diverse exposure to it. Things are changing very rapidly, is what I would say, um, uh, moving at a huge accelerated pace partly because of technology and all the changes. People, everybody's their own promoter nowadays. Everybody um, really is their own creative person, their own marketing person. Um, and you can see that through all the social media, that's been a, quite an amazing revolution. People don't need um, to have publishers in order to be able to publish things. People don't need to have um, you know, the normal gates, gatekeepers that used to exist, everybody can basically promote themselves 
and young people have already adapted to that and are fully aware of that and are doing it interested and focused either just following social influences, influencers or they are interested in being their own social influencer themselves or just getting their creativity out there. So I think that's been the biggest change for me is seeing people no longer need, necessarily need some of the formal trainings that have existed before but they may need to follow that, they may decide to do that but certainly they can start off using existing technology and using their common sense and being aware of what's out there already and I think that's an amazing gateway, it's an amazing access that young people have nowadays um, and it's definitely been a revolution, it's not, nothing short of a revolution essentially.